What's up, Internet? Reviewing today Fantech's Pulse CG71 case as well as the Fantech FC120 RGB fans. The brand sent us these items for review but had no say in what we had to say about them. I'm going to PC. I'm going to use Windows. Pero saan ko kukuha ng legit Windows? Daming options, daming prices. Ah, halito! Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com. Madali lang ang order! Search for the software you need, add to cart, daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes, finished! May legit working cdk ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin ang aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, Check out cdkeyoffers.com The Pulse CG71 does have all of the features that you'd expect from a modern case. PSU shroud, top and bottom dust filters, tempered glass side panel, a USB 3.0 slot on the front panel along with two other USB slots, cutouts for cable management, surprisingly hefty thumb screws which I actually really liked using. The top is a very shiny kind of plastic material. Although we've also seen this kind of treatment in higher end cases like the Fantex Eclipse P400A. There's also a mesh portion in front for better airflow, for better air intake. And I'm just gonna say it, the design, especially the front, is very reminiscent of the MSI Vampiric 100R with the very fetching slash of color in front. This is an entry-level budget case, so the feel of some of the materials isn't as premium as some cases that are double or triple its price. You know, you knock on the sides, it feels a bit plasticky, not solid. But the going rate for this guy is only around 1,800, which is a really good price. If your main concern is to have a decent enclosure that's pretty to look at, then the Pulse CG71 checks all of those boxes. I would recommend it if you're not the one building your computer. Kung pupunta ka sa shop, pipili ka ng parts, tapos iba yung mag assemble What you'll get is a well-priced, decent-looking case. But if you're looking to actually build for the first time, you might want to splurge a little bit on a different case. The build experience in the Pulse CG71 is not as polished, again, because that's not what the price point of this product is hoping to address. Case in point, cable management is quite hard given the limited space and lack of routing options. In particular, the lack of cable holes on top to thread wires through will lead builders to have to route through the bottom or the sides, both of which are sort of unsightly options. Just as a quick comparison, the Pulse CG71 is an ATX case, so you'd think it would have more space. But here we have a Deepcool Matrex 40FS, which is a large-ish MATX case. And you can see that the different options for cable management really allow for a cleaner build. There aren't any grommets in the Pulse CG71, but again, you wouldn't expect that in a case of this budget. There are three SSD mounting points, but they also double up as cable routing holes. So actually, if you put the three SSDs there, you would have a very difficult time where to stick your cables through. Another point is a tempered glass side panel, which I actually liked. It's very hefty and very easy to install. But it doesn't slot in fully into the case. Nakaangat siya. So it's slightly protruding from the main body of the case. That leaves a small gap all around the side panel where air and dust can get through. So the interior of this case will get dirtier more quickly compared to other cases kasi hindi siya airtight. The gap is wide enough that you can slip a piece of paper through it. So this is not a builder's case, but it definitely is for someone who is just starting out and doesn't care too much about all of the nitty-gritty of PC building, yung technician na bahala dyan. And what you get from the case, I actually like. It's a good-looking case. The side panel is hefty with a tint to it, further emphasizing the RGB inside, and the price can't be beat. 
The case does pair quite well with the Core FC120 fans. These are fixed RGB fans, meaning that they have a select range. You can't fully customize their RGB. That makes them cheaper, but also limits the potential customization of the RGB. We've seen other brands adopt this. Deepcool also has a similar version for their RF120 fans. The fans do have good airflow and actually look quite nice. Because of the raised side panel of the case, there's more RGB bleed coming out from the sides, which is quite attractive. And again, an example of the Pulse CG71 being more aesthetically oriented rather than maybe airflow, performance, or build oriented. The fans themselves do look good with the LEDs emitting from the core center of the fan and then, and then the light spreading out nicely. They are very bright and I've noticed a segment of the market that this is addressed to really likes rainbow. Parang yung dating, kung kaya mag rainbow yung PC mo, mas may dating siya. Parang, you know, it's, it, it's kind of like bling bling. You want it to be as ostentatious as possible. And these fans do achieve that. There is a discernible hum to them. Although to be honest, I don't mind that. You know, when you're gaming or even when you're using it normally, that hum quickly fades into the background. About a meter or so away from the case, and when it's silent, I can just barely hear them. I do like hearing the thrum of the fans actually because it's, it's an oral assurance that yes, I'm working, yes, I'm pushing air, yes, I'm doing my job. To be honest, we're kind of snobs here at Hardware Sugar. We're kind of in the high end. And our shop is really geared towards more of the enthusiast level, 3090s. And we stock accordingly. But I was really curious to try out the Pulse CG71 case because I'm interested in everything that's available on the market, from the budget to the mid range to the high end. And to be fair, there were a lot of things I liked both about the case and about the fans. It's not about being a snob, it's about being a fan. Not necessarily of fan tech, but just of PC hardware in general. And the Pulse CG71 really hits that sweet spot of good price and good looks for that market segment. If you're thinking of doing the build yourself, maybe think of spending a bit more for a different case. But if you want looks and it will be a technician running around through the innards of your case, then maybe consider the fan tech's Pulse CG71 and get some of the FC120s while you're at it. Thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tungo puan nato. Hindi joke lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, Richard Onkinko, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.